I'm John Hanna for CDTV.net in New York, and we do have a full house today, ladies and gentlemen. We have Greg Womack, president of Womack Investment Advisors, joining us from Edmond, Oklahoma. And on the other line, we have Dirk Van Dyke, chief equity strategist at Zax.com, joining us from Dayton, Ohio. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Well, happy happy uh, a- a- after the 4th, John. Hope you had a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Happy uh, Thank after you. the 4th. <laughs> Um, all right, so Dirk, let's start off with you. Uh, what do you have for us today? Well, uh, you know, last week we we had a hell of a, a week uh, with all sorts of good things, and most of that was because it looked like the uh, Greek debt situation was uh, successfully kicked down the, the the can was kicked down the road a bit. Uh, I do fear that eventually that road is going to turn into a cul-de-sac. Uh, but now the attention is really going to focus on a much bigger uh, debt problem, uh, namely the U.S. And uh, there's a, a really big difference. Uh, with Greece, the uh, question is, are they able to pay? With the U.S., it's really just a question, are we willing to pay? Um, and the failure to raise the debt ceiling would be an entirely unforced error that would have absolutely devastating consequences uh, to the economy. Uh, I still think that the most likely course is that uh, there will be a last-minute deal that's reached, but we're getting to the point where it's uh, a non-trivial chance that this uh, this game of chicken is going to end in tragedy, Uh, and it really will be a tragedy, Uh, a default by the U.S. government is you know should be inconceivable. Uh, it will do far far more damage than the bankruptcy of a second tier uh, investment bank like Lehman Brothers or Bear Stearns would do. Um, and it is just nuts that it, that, that we're even uh, discussing this happening. Um, the other alternative is that I think Obama would be on very solid grounds in saying. Uh, the debt ceiling is just plain unconstitutional and um, not going to pay any attention to it. Anyways, uh, that would probably provoke a bit of a constitutional crisis, uh, but it, he does have justification for making that claim. Okay, why don't we just uh, focus first on, uh, I want to get this thing out of, out of the way as well with regards to what, how much debt are we talking about in the U.S.? Yeah. We're we're currently at the $14.3 trillion debt limit, but that debt includes um, actually a lot of money that is owed to ourselves. Uh, The Social Security Trust Fund, for example, that debt is included in that $14.3. All the stuff that the Federal Reserve bought as part of QE2 is included in that $14.3. Three. So the the total debt owed to the public, right, which excludes the um, stuff that the government itself owns or the Fed, which is quasi part of the the government, uh, that's about nine trillion dollars, which is a a big chunk of change. Don't get me wrong, and it's been going up at over a trillion dollars a year uh, in you know recent years due to the very high level of deficits we're uh, experiencing, which are in turn due to the recession. 